Hello fellow agents and welcome to my channel. I am your host Daffy Roth and in this video we're going to be continuing our playthrough of Resident Evil 3 for the PlayStation 1. In our last episode we uh, we stood our ground against Nemesis, not once but twice. We managed to get the uh, parts for the Eagle handgun. It's got this almost Star Wars-ish scope on it. <laughs> if you've ever seen like Han Solo's blaster, it's kind of what I'm referencing. But anyways, um, really all it seems to bring to the table is more, I can just hold down the fire button and she fires faster. I was kind of hoping for more damage and perhaps like more headshots or something, but it doesn't really seem to, to do that. We also worked our way through the uh, RPD. Um, Brad Vickers met a very gruesome end with his face being decimated um and now we are working our way through downtown uh raccoon city um trying to find whoever was on the other end of that radio um message so okay so before heading out we're going to go ahead and do some preparation um we did get the grenade launcher the grenade launcher is garbage by the way um, the grenade launcher seems to just basically be the shotgun, um, just worse. So it's like single target. Like if you have a group of zombies, it only kills one. I don't understand what the rationale behind that is exactly, but you know, who am I to, who am I to complain? What happens if I miss mix? Well, I'm not going to worry about it right now. We need shotguns, so I'm going to read up on the uh, the different kinds of gunpowder later. But uh, yeah, I was experimenting with it, and it's just not great. The shotgun actually is just better, because you can get a group of zombies, and you can fire into them, and you get splash damage from that, so... Um... So yeah, uh, we're going to head into downtown and see what we can, uh, what we can suss out. So with that being said, friends, sit back, relax, and let's, uh, let's have a little fun, shall we? Death awaits us outside this door. So <laughs> there's just like a pack of dogs. Um, I just know because I keep getting killed here and I keep restarting, so I'm just going to go through with what we have here. If I can get lucky and get them all together, and I didn't because she just aimed at one. There we go. Alright. Um... Anyways, as I was saying, um... I hope you guys are enjoying the new intro and outro, and I do apologize that I haven't been exactly uploading on a normal basis. Not that really, you know, I'm not like anybody's waiting for my videos to come out anyways, but that being said, uh, I was uploading every day, but I've been learning how to edit and things like that, so it's been taking up a lot more time than um, I had anticipated, so... But the good news is, is I'm learning how to use Adobe, and now I have an intro and outro. So, um, you know, and if you guys have taken the time to redo that, my uh, my goal is to make an overarching story um, about me, the character, uh, detailing these things, but also being having trying to bring in other games as well. And look, we have a downtown map. Uh, like Dying Light, we're going to be doing. Oh, look, there's the Rest Tower Rant. Uh, the substation. The newspaper office. The Gasta. And then the trolley. So we're going to... I think really the only place that we can really head to is the Rest Tower Rant. So that's where we're going to head to the Rest Tower Rant. Uh, but anyways. Oh. Oh, it's those spiky blue, it's those spiky things, that's... 
Okay, can I shoot it? Wow, there's like no knockback at all. Wow, well, that just went bad. Well, Jill, you, you lived and you died. Alright, I'll be right back. Alright, and we're back. Um, and I need to redo all this, so just bear with me. Maybe we can get luckier with the dogs, and we'll bring some, uh... Healing if we need it. Alright. Yeah, I'm kind of disappointed in the, uh, in the grenade launcher, to be honest. I don't understand the, the reasoning why it wouldn't provide splash damage, why it's only single target, but... All right, let's see if we can just run through the dogs, um, turn around, and then get all three of them with one shotgun blast. Cause so we can just save it with just two rounds. Ooh, look at that! Nope, still got hit. But we got lucky. Now the dogs seem to be invulnerable for like a sec when they're getting up. Um, so if you're playing through this, just keep that in mind. That wait till they get up and then they start charging you again. Alright. So I think these are those bug things from Resident Evil. If you ever play Resident Evil 5, um, there's a part in the factory. Uh, where you fight these bugs that are pretty much an insta kill to get a hang, to get a hand on you. I think these are actually those same things. If not, maybe the things that you fought in the. Uh... All right, there's one more. I want to kill. Where is it at? Well. You know what, let's just not even worry about it right now. Oh, there it is. Alright, that actually, if we can get him off the wall, that's not bad. Alright. I'm gonna, so... When it comes to healing, when it starts with a red and green, I don't want to waste it on just being yellow. Um, the reason for that is I'm I'm someone who likes to hog resources and use um, use things when I absolutely need them. Now you kind of run the the risk. I like that there's just a soda machine in the middle of this place. Um, you do run the risk of, you know, being jumped by a boss or something. His expression shows insane agony and pain. At least his face wasn't decimated. Um, but yeah, like orange, I think is a good place because the thing is, if like if you just get hit once and you're in yellow, like a green herb is more than enough. Don't waste your red herbs on that. Scum! Scum! Right, we're gonna go this way to get into the rest tower rant. Of course, we're still doing our Yeah, I mean, that's what you get from the shotgun, but if I did the exact same thing with the, uh, grenade launcher, like, it just hits one of them. I just, I don't find that conducive to a grenade launcher. It's a grenade. It's... Alright, let's see if we can... Oh, 
kind of want to try to get... Alright, well, see, now's a good time to use it, but... But of course, it helps. See, like, that would have been a perfect place to have, like, the, the grenade launcher. And I did try it there, and it was just like... Dang it. Freaking tank controls, dude. Um... It would have been a perfect place to have all of them, you know, together, but literally the grenade launcher was just targeting, you know, one at a time, even if they're grouped together. And it's just not like, I wonder if maybe like with the acid rounds, the acid rounds maybe have a split. All right, let's head to that save room. Um, or some splash damage. I like the, this downtown area is just like really like weird. It's more like back alleyways. I feel like I'm in that Harry Potter place, uh, Diagon Alley or whatever the heck it's called. All right, hey, look at this. We got the crank. And you know what the crank is good for? Will you take the rusted crank? Yes, I will. We take shotgun shells? Yes, uh, yes, I will. All right, let's do this. I am is I wonder if this is a square, a hex crank. It is not, so let's, we can't go back to the one at the beginning. All right, and we'll go ahead and save state here. All right. Well, we could... We're going to head to the restaurant. I'm sorry. I just... I can't help myself. But we're going to head to the restaurant. And, um... Because that's where... That dude ran into. So what shops do we have here? We have something... TQA Cafe or some cafe. Something, I don't know. There's hair time. We need to get our hair done. You know, which is all about being... Bay Barber. <laughs> um, attack something. Nine all nine one one. There's really nothing to find here. All right. Nothing special. Well, the question is, do we want to head in the back of the restaurant? Or do we want to go in the way that he went in there? I think let's go in the back. Well, that doesn't sound good. <laughs> Look at the no smoking. The, if the no is crossed out, it's locked with a simple lock. Oh, of course. That's fine. Oh. We can probably blow that up. Mm -hmm. A heavy looking cover. There's a hole to hook something into. Okay, so we need the manhole cover thing. It seems to be a switch for the drain. Okay. Well, turn it on. Now taking orders, we are now open for business. The City Guide. City Guide, the tracks of our city. Dear citizens, thanks to kind and generous people of Umbrella Inc., this is a peaceful and friendly city. The vast donations from Umbrella Inc. have been used for welfare work, for welfare work, construction of public utilities, 
and to help maintain public peace. In 1992, it was my fifth year as mayor of our beautiful city. It was then that through many donations and hard work, our city was able to rebuild the municipal building and create a state-of-the-art hospital. In our honor of these fine accomplishments, I was awarded with a grand statue that same year. The statue rests in the municipal building. I came to the city as an engineer more than 35 years ago. I made contributions to the electrical systems and to the installation of the cable car. I pledge to follow the tradition of this fine city and will devote my life to its prosperity. The mayor of the city, Michael Warren. Well, how's that working out for you, bud? Has ever seen a, a a movie called The Bay? I I don't. It's a found footage film. I actually really enjoy that movie. Um, I think it'd be an interesting uh concept to do the same thing with, like, say, like the the day that Raccoon City fell or something, and you know, have like a you know somebody documenting it. Yeah, I mean, it's essentially what happens in that movie. I mean, except that it's like uh, these shellfish things that are killing everybody. Oh, it's Grill 13. wonder what they're having for dinner. It's like lobster. Oh, the theater. It looks like something in number four is playing Resident Evil 4, maybe. We must channel our knowledge to their future, for it shall always show us our greatest destiny. Raccoon City Mayor Michael Warren. Hmm, I wonder what that's referencing. Some green herbs, though. Place your wisdom here. There's a hollow space for something to be put in. I find this just really kind of funny that they just have this, like, randomly, you know, put out in the middle of the city. Like, hey, look, we have the future is in our hands. Will you take the bronze compass? You've taken the bronze compass. Oh, interesting. The future's in our hands, okay. Well, I can use that if we ever need to... ...defend ourselves from some zombos. Alright, we're gonna take this. And again, it is incredibly windy in downtown Raccoon City. Barricade is blocking the way. Well, I guess I don't know where that man went. But I guess we're gonna head to the newspaper place. First, we're gonna unlock that cabinet. I kind of wish they would let you have. Well, I mean, I guess it makes sense from a simple standpoint that when you're trying to put your 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 basically your your set together, you know, like what do you need? You know, to only take what you need. But it kind of be nice if you're able to take a uh, like I'm gonna use actually one of the green herbs, um, like a slot for. Uh, I won't now. Um, like a key item like either i can take like one or the other right it just replaces it so it's like you can have like a key item slot but then you know switch between the two so it doesn't take up an actual slot but coming at it from a um a survival horror standpoint you know in survival management um i understand you know only take what you need put your gear set together and but a loadout is the word I was looking for. How do we 
got in here? Oh, it's the hook. Can't carry any more items. Okay. Now, I'm curious if I could blow this up. <laughs> no. <laughs> the flammable gas is leaking. Okay. And Jill's like, oh. I was like, no. <laughs> I don't want to do this. So why are you making me do this? Um. Alright, let's, uh. Well, the question is this, is we can buy in situations of various foodstuffs are written here. Okay. Um, so we have, we have an option. We can, um, oh, I didn't even know. Uh, I wonder if that's the, uh, the manhole cover. Okay. So we have a couple options. We can head to the newspaper office or we can head into the, uh, the manhole cover here. Um, uh, why don't we do that? Let's go ahead and return our our special items here. Um, so yeah, let's return. Uh, you know, if just for right now, we'll also return. See, it's hard to say. We'll return it. We'll see what happens. Uh, we'll, I'll probably whip to regret that and have to come back here anyways. Jill did visit hair time before all this went down. That's where she got the, she got her nice hair, you know, her hair dude. She was gonna leave back to the city in style. Will you take the fire hook? Yes, I will. Fire hook. Zombie. My name's Carlos, Corporal of Umbrella's Biohazard Countermeasure Force. What's your name? Jill, did you just say you belong to Umbrella's army? Yeah, we came all the way out here to save you civilians, but the mission went bad the minute we landed. in the kitchen. Over here! Are you crazy? You could have barbecued both of us! <laughs> Jill's like, I don't care. <laughs> Hi, Jill. Classic Jill. Oh, look at this. We get something else. Will you take the first aid? Yes! I will thank you. Wow, I made the right judgment call on that one. Alright. Or not. Okay, she, he like lifted me up the room. Come on, Carlos. Stars. Ah. 
I wasn't expecting him to get back up. Now Carlos is hurt, so... Great. Come on, Carlos, you have an infinite machine gun. We go down the ladder? Yeah, let's check out the ladder down here. Alright, so we're we're gonna commit to fighting Nemesis every time it comes his chest has been ripped into and torn apart. Yeah, great. And he looks like he's got like a skeletal head. Um We're gonna we're gonna make a commitment that whenever we come across Nemesis, we're going to fight him. It's a freezer, okay. Well go into the freezer. I mean yeah, what the heck? Why won't you go into it? Or is that the... Oh, uh, I guess I can't go into it. Alright, well, nothing there. I guess we'll go up the ladder. Seems to be a switch for the drain. Okay, but I guess it doesn't drain anything. So we're not gonna talk about, you know, Neve Nemesis just you know, charging us. Alright, so I guess we're heading to the newspaper now. Fair enough. One thing I do like about the newer Resident Evil games is that they show you, it's like, oh, hey, you're still searching this area. Like, there may be items. Wait, I have to ask you something. I know. You want to ask me out? All the foxy ladies love my accent. It drives them crazy. Dude. What? Keep dreaming. <laughs> Tell me, why Jill? did Umbrella send you what? a team in? We're here to rescue the civilians. Don't lie to me. Umbrella is the reason why this whole mess began. Look, we're just mercenaries, hired hands. Do you really think the master would tell his dogs why they have to retrieve the stick he just threw? If you want answers, you should talk to someone else. I am not with Umbrella. Believe it or not, we're only here to rescue the civilians. If you can trust me, then help us. Think about it! Jill's like, what? What is with that? Like, okay, so, like, you have Kendo and RE2, like, sorry, babe. Okay, so to be fair, on, on that one, um, that could, that, that could be more just like, oh, like, not saying, like, more of like, say, you have some people say honey, you know, things like that, so. But then it was more the after part where he's like, you can stay in here with me and I'll keep you safe. <laughs> uh, now you have Carlos like... Carlos and what's his name are probably a lot of like... Uh, the dude from RE0. Well, might as well pull these out. Uh... Why am I drawing a blank on his name? Uh... 
Jimmy? What the, what the heck was his name? I honestly am not. I'm drawing a blank. So, anyways, the, uh... The guy from Resident Evil, uh... Zero. He, um... That's who I'm thinking of. Billy. Billy Cohen. Man, I had, I had a really dredge my mind on that one uh, where he's just like oh you've been dreaming about me or whatever like dude guys in this are just creepy like no the arcade shops oh okay I see what it is so the arcade shops are that way yeah. so that's just that is kind of like an alley of shops and whatnot. I like how he just like throwed like every road through everything. Um, right there. Handgun bullets. Yes. Oh, I should have saved those, man. Raccoon City Hall, nice. Looks like the mayor probably uh, operation hours from 9, 1700. The gate is automatically closed after hours. A clock that is not functioning. Two gems are missing from the hour plate. Wow, this city is like, it's like Las Vegas. It's like, it's like the whole city is like an escape room. <laughs> it's like you want to get to one place. You have to like, oh, you have to dial in the time to figure out to get to the, oh, you want to go to work? Oh, you need the keys. You need all the keys to get into your office first. You know, that's my kind of town. So, why were you late today? Well, I mean, I couldn't find the emblem key. You wouldn't believe the trouble I went through to get the, the six gems I needed to get through the intersection. Exclusive information. The incident in the Arkley Mountains uncovered. Ooh, see, Jill probably went here. I think this door is locked. It's locked from the other side, yeah. All right. Well, into into the uh, newspaper office we go. Oh, it's an ink ribbon. You would find the ink ribbon in a newspaper. The payphone does not work, though. Alright, so we have... Push this somewhere. Okay, probably for the... Photo B. A close-up shot of a zombie. It says, scoop on the backside. You've taken the photo B. Alright, so we probably need to push this over to the... We have a lot of payphones in this room. Raccoon Press. There's no power going to the switchboard. Will you turn on the power? Sure. Oh, I thought that was going to be a puzzle, too. There's a switch for the fireproof shutter. Will you turn it on? No, I won't until I have my shotgun ready. All right. Oh. Well, that's that's probably why. The way she's walking up the stairs right now is kind of funny. It's like really heavy footed. Oh, well, this probably was a bad idea, Joe. 
I mean, the, to be fair, the building didn't look like it was on fire from the outside. Oh boy. Stars! Can I go in there? I actually kind of made me jump a little bit. I was kind of expecting Nemesis to come busting out. Oh, it's okay. Only the hallway's on fire. Oh, no, it's on fire. Oh, hey, look, there's a fat man down there. He's like, you know, I'm just, I just can't sum up the strength to come down there. I, yeah, I get it, you know, all right. Now he's like, you know, but now you breached my, my comfort zone. And I can't. Oh, there we go. We do get critical headshots, headshots with this gun. Uh, a narrow path can be seen from the window. I take it there's no... Alright. Oh, here's the other gem. Well, you take the green gem. Mm-hmm. Oh, whoa, dude comes out fast. Chill out, bro. I don't know if he's dead, but... Oh, come on. He's still alive. Oh, she reloads a lot faster, too. Reporter's memo. At last, I have found the evidence I need to prove that the cannibal disease is indeed happening in this city. One man actually ate people to death. He was like a savage animal, tearing away a new flesh. Tearing away a new flesh. It was completely disgusting. I have heard rumors that many people are also suffering from this disease now. However, the causes of this disease is not yet known. Is this another mystery of the present disease? I will have to check on. I will have to check on it. They have to. They have placed Raccoon City under martial law because of the cannibal disease. I have lost contact with the media outside of the, of the city, but I won't give up. As a journalist, I won't keep my eyes shut and walk away. I have a duty to the people in my profession. I don't think the disease has spread nationwide yet. I believe that this city holds the key to its creation and cure. In fact, I'm sure of it. The military has set up blockades around the city to keep people from escaping and spreading the disease. Most of the citizens have either died or have come in contact with the disease. I know that it is the right decision to quarantine the city, but I can't help but pity myself. If I am infected or eaten, it doesn't matter. My fate is already sealed. All I have left is my journalism. I won't give up until I solve the mystery of this deadly disease. I have just discovered that the disease is not spread through the air, but by some other means. Well, we know that it was spread by rats, but... Photo C. Police have been destroyed. Wow. And yeah, straight to the point. Not overwhelmed or defeated, they have been destroyed. Files on bizarre incidents are scattered about. I wonder if this is like a, uh... Oh man, I really need to go dump some of this stuff. Um... Kind of like a tabloid. Like aliens! We're gonna have to come back. 
what we're gonna do is uh oh that was a police officer uh so what we're gonna do is go drop off we're gonna put the green gem in uh get the blue gem i'm sure we're gonna have stars coming after us soon At least I can walk over the fire, okay. The cannibal disease. I think you would have come up with something more catchy than cannibal disease. Sally shop, casual wear. Uh, clock that is not functioning. Oh, yeah, I know. Um, let's use... It seems that it's not enough to make the device work. Yeah, I know. We need the blue gem. A lot of places that we still need to go into as well. All right, so let's dump this in there. Uh, dump this. And keep that. Well, let's go ahead and pull out the. Blue gem. Drop off the blue gem. Actually, let's do this. Let's go ahead and hit the paper office real quick. Uh, we'll grab the two. Um, two gunpowders. Oh, the fire doesn't hurt us at all. Okay. Fire, walk with me. Um. We'll hit up. We'll get the two things of gunpowder. Kind of uh, wondering if I should mix it, but uh, I think we'll be all right. Marvin, I solved the mystery of the missing blue gem. Oh, okay. The door is stuck from the other side and won't open. 
Oh, I didn't even notice that there was anything there. I'm like, why are you not running, Joe? Um, let's see here. Say anything? Nope. Pay your taxes because they provide for the safety and well-being of our special town. Yeah, they do. Um, can I even get in there? Where is that going to take me? Well, we'll find out. We're going to go to the gas... Uh, the Stagla. I don't even know how to say that. Alright, Joe needs a snack, so we're gonna head into the Stagla. Oh, hey, check it out! It's a DeLorean. And we need the crank. There's a hex shaped hole in the door. Yep. Okay. It's a machine that supplies the gasoline. <laughs> Uh, it's a gas pump, in other words. They <laughs> it's a machine that supplies the gas, yes. Yes it is, Jill, it is. It is at that. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna go drop off the gunpowder, pick up the hex shake get the uh the crank, um, and then we'll head back to the Gasta and see what's in there. Maybe there's some good stuff before we head to the trolley. And remember, boys and girls and fellow agents, make sure that you pay your taxes. Pay your taxes. I'm not going to mix it because I do want to see if I can make some acid rounds because I am still legit curious if I can make if the acid rounds are splash damage. Same thing with fire. I wonder if fire is going to be uh, um, splash damage as well. So behind us, we still have, um, I'm just, I'm just thinking, keeping track of the things that we have still to go. Um, so behind us, we have the square shaped crank for the, um, for the shutter going into the bar. Oh, are you kidding me? Wow. A broken hex crank is inserted here. I can't turn it without some type of help. <laughs> okay. Well then, I guess that's that happened, so... We still need to find a wrench. That's what we're looking for. So now we need a wrench for two places. Or something. You know, some help. Probably we need, we need Carlos. To, uh, to help us uh, turn that crank there. Oh, 
reason to waste spend ammo if you don't have to. I'm not sure how many are over there. But we're just gonna take them one at a time here. Come on. Oh, what? That did not go as planned. All right, I'm just going to shoot into the Apparently, he didn't care. Alright. That could have been smoother, to be honest. Alright, so we have Japanese, Spaco, and Delivery. You know, it's Japanese. It's the Koi restaurant. It sounds really good right now, actually. Oh, yep, saw that coming. Where are we headed here? This is taking us to the trolley. The Lonsdale Yard. I like more healing items. Uh, seems to be pretty much just a straight shot at this point. I mean, there's some things we need to backtrack to, but I mean, there's not really any exploration or... Yeah, F you dogs. Oh, I didn't want to go in the door. What I want to do is see if I can search the dude next to him. Alright. Let's search the dude next to him. Or that's what I wanted. Shotguns? Yes, please. What about you? A strong barricade is blocking the way. Well, I want to search the dead man. Looks like we're going into the trolley. Oh, we need the cable. Mechanics memo. I know that you're intimidated by your new job, Kevin. Kevin. So let me tell you how to make sure that you and your trains get along just fine. You see, these carriages were made in 1968 and then imported from Europe. Sometimes they get rickety, but they still work because they are simple, stubborn, and strong. We can always depend on them. If they have had a bad day and are malfunctioning, you'll need to take a good look at their circuits for any trouble. Once you discover what's wrong, you'll be able to fix it easily. I'm sure that you'll be able to avoid those nasty little malfunctions if you check the parts every day. These old trains will surely have problems if you don't remember to check them out. Just remember that if you need to replace anything, you have to choose a suitable part. When I say suitable, I mean that even if you can't 
find another original part, you better find something that works good enough. Even with regard to oil, you must always prepare a good quantity of oil for these trains. Never forget Kevin. Never forget Kevin that a man may betray others, but a machine won't. Wow. Thanks for that pep talk. Some of the parts seem to be out of order. The power cable is disconnected. The fuse is broken. The mixed oil has been used up. Okay, so I need a whole bunch of stuff. All right, so we have the cable. We still need the fuse and we need the oil. Oh my gosh, it's... Okay, so... It wants... All right, there we go. You're one of the survivors from the rescue team, right? I just ran into your teammate, Carlos. How did a girl like you manage to survive? Hey, I'm no ordinary civvy. I'm a member of STARS. STARS? Stars? You mean the RPD Special Force Team? Ugh. Hey, is someone wounded back there? No. That's a machine for pumping oil. This looks bad. Uh, they're coming. Get ready. Uh, uh, fire. Fire. Stay together. Calm down. You're safe now. Everything is going to be okay. Don't worry. I got some first aid spray. No. Don't come any closer. Stay away. I got I got a pack of first aid sprays I can use on you, buddy. We'll get you we'll get you get you right up. So Jill, did you decide to help us out? It looks like we're the only ones who survived. We should work together. No, we can't trust her. Why? But She's Sergeant, we need her help. Our unit's down to you, me, and Lieutenant Mikhail. That's it. And Mikhail's hurt bad. If we don't cooperate, we won't be walking away from this mission. What you say is true. But she is not Fine. Russian. Then let's go over our plan. We're moving to the clock tower area, which is the designated landing zone for the extraction chopper. Once we get there and give the signal, the chopper will fly in and pull us out. That's Our mission a lot of is ground to get to, to the chopper. I, I don't think we can make it on foot. The main problem we have is that the landing zone is cut off from here by the fire. So we have no choice but to use this cable car to navigate through it. Fortunately, we can also use it as a moving shield to get us through the worst areas. That works for me. Good plan, sir. Okay, people. Let's get moving. Wait. Jill, put this on. Okay. Oh, hey, look at that. Oh, look at that. We got a wrench, finally. What does this give us? A screwdriver? A well-maintained in control room. A well-maintained control room. Okay, guys, remember the control room. You've opened the lock. All right. All right, guys, we're at about an hour here, um, so I'm going to try to keep these videos an hour just for editing purposes. So that being said, um, in our next episode, we will uh, journey on the words to the clock tower or whatever it is that we are going to be going through. So I hope that you are all well and happy. I hope that your prayers protect you from those things that go wrong. And I, I'm enjoying this game. Um, it's a lot harder. Uh... I kind of wish it'd be more of an open, I, I hate to say open world, but more of a, uh, like, I kind of wish there was like a, uh, a Resident Evil 1.5, right, where you have a game, and there was, it was Resident Evil Outbreak, but it was a, a, a multiplayer game, but a single, fo a single player focus game that takes place during the outbreak, right? Like from the start to where Resident Evil 2 happens or the downfall. Maybe you take the, you know, 
maybe you're a police officer or just a regular civilian, one of those, or, you know, hell, a journalist, I don't know. Um, but it would be really cool to see, like, literally, you just working your way to the city and just trying to escape or whatever. But, but yeah, with that being said, friends, um, have fun. Uh, look forward to more videos. I'm going to start on Resident Evil 3, the remake here, after I close this video out. And uh, we'll start playing through that one as well. So, all right. Well, hey, you guys have a, a great day. And uh, if you like this video, like, subscribe, comment down below. Do check out the creators in the description down below as well. Hello, agents. And I am in the what if machine. All right, that's really stupid, but I, I don't really know how to introduce this whole little little sneak peek. Um, but essentially what we're going to do is we're going to explore the alternative um a choice to the to the restaurant scene where we were able to run into the basement or hide in the kitchen so we did choose to hide in the kitchen uh and as you know she blew up the kitchen so let's uh let's choose the other option and uh see where that leads us shall we this way Just sound like there's like a T-Rex upstairs. <laughs> Alright, so it looks like the water level is getting higher. So maybe we should go up the ladder. Actually, no, let's see what happens if we just stay down here. We probably Follow die. Me. Oh, he takes us out. <laughs> okay. So it just makes us fight. Come on, Carlos, get in there. You're tanking, buddy. He goes down. Okay, so really the easier way to do the fight is to uh, choose the bottom one. You still get the first aid spray though, so um, yeah. So, so there is that. So, well, that ends this episode. This ends this segment of the What If Machine. So we uh, we did get to check out and uh, see what the other option is. So honestly. In this case, the better option is to uh, um, duck into the kitchen. So, okay, well, that's it. All right, guys, see you in the next video. Bye bye.